Hello and welcome, my friends, to... Well, 2014. Time flies. Uh, I hope you had a excellent 2013, and I hope you have an equally excellent 2014. Uh, in terms of games, I believe that 2014 will be a very good year. Uh, I'm not sure it will be as good as 2015, but that's way ahead of time. Uh, the reason for this video, and the video after this, will be to uh, showcase some of the games I enjoyed in 2013. Um, actually, my top three games of 2013. And also look at what games I will... Uh, what games I anticipate in 2014. My top five games that I anticipate in 2014. And... Uh, there's... Uh, it's interesting, because... 2013 didn't really have any game that I was really super eager to get my hands on. Uh, there's usually one of those games per year, but 2013 was a pretty, you know, it was an okay game year, but it wasn't an excellent game year. Uh, it had a few really good surprises though, and I'll get into that in a moment. Alright, here we go. Recluse Yorks, Top 3 Games of 2013 Well, coming in at number 3... Well, this was actually a difficult choice. Uh, I really enjoyed Dead Space 3. Uh, because the continuation of the Dead Space uh, story. And of course, I really enjoy the digital acting uh, in uh, all the Dead Space games. Uh, however, in the end, uh, I think I enjoyed MechWarrior Online more for a longer period of time. It is the reason why this game won over Dead Space was that well, there's a few there's a few few reasons. One, uh, nostalgia. I used to play MechWarrior 2, uh, an old game back in the 90s sometime, and uh, I really love that game. And it was in the same universe as MechWarrior Online. And when they started developing this game, a modern take on the MechWarrior game, uh, I was sold right out, of the right out of the box. Is that how you say it? Well, it is now. Uh, because who doesn't like huge mechs firing huge lasers? Yes, it's huge fun. Uh, also, this was my, my go-to game when I had some time over to you know, jump into Skype with some friends and just play a few rounds of MechWarrior Online. Because uh, I like games, cooperative games, or play games that you can play with your friends. And, you know, maybe, it's, I'm, maybe I'm getting old, but uh, Quake and Doom and Unreal and games like that, Call of Duty, they're just too fast-paced for me, uh, and I can't really enjoy them. Uh, MechWarrior Online, however, is more tactical, uh, more lumbering, and I just love it. Uh, as of late, the updates have not been, really been, been that extensive, and nothing's really happening with the game. So I've taken a step back and just... No distance myself from it for a little while, but I'm sure I'll be back playing the game sometime in 2014. Alright, coming in at number 2 is Battlefield 4.
What a mess. Is that an enemy? Whoop! Was an enemy. Now, this is my new go-to game when I just want to play with my friends uh, online. Because you squad up with like three friends, four friends, and you jump into this war. Uh, Squad-based, uh, lots of tactics, strategy, and it's visually stunning. I love it. Also, um, I quite enjoyed the single-player campaign. It won't win any prizes for best scripts or best dialogue, but it was like a window into the future. You know, this is the game engine that many of EA's games will be using in the future, and just watching these stunning graphics and animations and stuff like that, it was boom, mind-blowing. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, uh, and I must say, I did enjoy the characters. And uh, some of the dialogue was really, really cool. <laughs> and also the music and the graphics and the gameplay. I mean, people, at least some reviewers, were really, really harsh on this game. And... I can't really agree with them, because I enjoy it quite a bit. I guess it's also had to do with how much you, you know, you can look past the, uh, the flaws of the game. You know, this isn't isn't a Mass Effect game where you can make a lot of difficult choices. This is a shooter game, and sure, they I agree with the reviewers that they might evolve the genre a little bit with more choices stuff like that, but in the end, it's a shooter game and. It was a bloody good shooter game, and I had a great of fun, and I immersed myself more than I expected. <laughs> it was kind of awkward at times, looking back at the footage, seeing me jail at my teammates. Um, but I had a great time helping that game, and I hope it shows. Maybe the only ship left, but we will not go down without a fight. Steam west, strike the airfield under storm cover, create a safe passage through the Singapore Strait. Strike with speed and courage. Let this storm carry us home. It's such a good speech, I love it. Let's do it. And number one, my top game of 2013 is The Last of Us. You mumble in your sleep. I hate bad dreams. Yeah, me too. That game just blew me away. Uh, you guys know me. I, I talk a lot about first-person shooters, you know, MacQuarie Online. But to be frank, you know, I love a good story. I love good characters. I love... Uh, character development uh, and The Last of Us had all of those and, and actually the, the thing that I was most impressed about when it came to The Last of Us wasn't really the great story or the, the great interaction between Ellie and Joel uh, but actually it was the the, the, uh, the way it felt like you were playing a movie and the way they did that was that, well, first of all, the animations were so good. I mean, it's one thing to have great animations in a cutscene, because you have the actors in a motion capture studio and you, they do their thing, and you get the, 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 the great result we're used to. However, it felt like you were actually playing a movie during the gameplay. And that's thanks to all the great animations that they put into the game. Uh, when you moved, the way that many things were context sensitive, uh, the way the animations transitioned into each other, 
that made it flow so well. It looked so natural. And we're all, I, I think I mentioned this before, but I'm going to say it again. We're all experts on how people move because we see it every day. And if something is off, we, in a video game, we, we even notice it. And we, can, we take a step back and we, we see, okay, yeah, it's just a game. Uh, duh. And it breaks our immersion. But well, while it happened once or twice, it was extremely rare for me to, to have that feeling while playing The Last of Us. And it was not only the awesome animations, it was also the the, um, the sound design. Uh, when you moved around, the character was never silent. You know, the, the, the the presence of the voice, uh, the, the voiceover guy was always there. Heavy breathing, uh, mumbling something under his breath. Uh, maybe he, he, he put uh, cursed or, or said something to Ellie, or Ellie said something to Joel, or they said something to the enemies. Uh, the voice had a presence along with the animations and what happened in in the world and I think that that's what I want to see more of in in games in the future like in Dragon Age or actually or, or Mass Effect I'm not sure how easy it is to implement but Not Dog nailed it and that's that's what I was most impressed of when it came to The Last of Us so, oh, I'm getting all excited here, because that was one heck of a swan song for the PS3. And it shows us, everyone, how, how the gaming medium, medium is really going forward. And I've always been a, a advocate for great animations in games. When I find a new game that I really enjoy, I go onto the forums and talk about animations and how important it is to get them right, to get us involved in the game. It's such a small thing that my, some people might forget, but oh so important. So, Last of Us, my game of 2013, excellent game, well deserved award. Boom, David's stamp of approval. I do this. Yeah. Let's go. So, there you have it. The games I enjoyed in 2013. Uh, in the next video, I will uh, look at games I anticipate. Uh, it will be really awesome in 2014. So, stay tuned. Yeah.